In the shadow of Spain's highest peak, an unsettling phenomenon is unfolding beneath the serene slopes of Mount Teide. Renowned for its breathtaking landscapes and a magnet for millions of visitors annually, this towering volcano has captured imaginations for centuries. However, recent seismic activity under the volcano has raised concerns among researchers about the possibility of a major eruption. With over 500 earthquakes detected in a matter of hours, this earthquake swarm has sent ripples of curiosity and concern through the scientific community. Volcanoes like Teide are enigmatic by nature, their dormant periods often lasting centuries before unleashing destructive fury. As scientists delve into the depths of Tenerife's volcanic system to interpret the signals, speculation grows. Are these tremors simply a part of the volcano's restless nature? Or could this be a prelude to something far more catastrophic? Perhaps even a mega eruption? Let's find out! Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Mount Teide, located on Tenerife in the Canary Islands, is an active stratovolcano and Spain's highest peak, standing at 3,718 meters. Mount Teide's formation began over 170,000 years ago, resulting from volcanic activity that shaped Tenerife's landscape. The volcano's history is marked by periods of intense volcanic activity, interspersed with dormancy. Teide's structure includes the Las Cañadas Caldera, a large depression formed by past eruptions and collapses. The volcanic system comprises several components, the central stratovolcano, Pico Viejo, and Montaña Blanca. This complex system of vents and magma chambers interacts with hydrothermal systems beneath the surface, making Teide a dynamic geological entity. Although Teide's last eruption occurred in 1909, its persistent fumarolic activity, the release of volcanic gases, indicates that the volcano remains active. On November 14, 2024, the National Geographic Institute detected an unusual seismic swarm in the Las Cañadas del Teide area, southwest of Pico Viejo. Over 500 micro-earthquakes were recorded within a three-hour window, with magnitudes below 1.1 and depths ranging from 8 to 12 kilometers. The activity began with 10 small quakes, followed by long-duration signals and a series of low-magnitude tremors occurring at regular intervals, described as resembling a drumbeat. This phenomenon can occur in volcanic settings, where magma or hydrothermal fluids move through the crust. Previous swarms have been documented in the same region, such as in 2016, 2019, and 2022. While these events did not culminate in eruptions, their recurrence highlights the complexity of Teide's magmatic and hydrothermal systems. The recent swarm's intensity and frequency, however, have raised concerns among scientists. The Volcanological Institute of the Canary Islands considers the recent seismic swarm as unusual. It reports that since 2017, Tenerife has documented at least 118 seismic swarms of earthquakes and five swarms of hybrid seismic events indicating an increase in pressure within the volcanic hydrothermal system due to the injection of magmatic fluids. The National Geographic Institute also acknowledges the anomalous nature of the swarm, but emphasizes that it is unrelated to the processes that triggered the volcanic eruption on La Palma in 2021. Teide's eruptive history provides critical insights into its behavior. Over the past several centuries, eruptions have alternated between effusive and explosive events. Some notable eruptions include the 1704 to 1705 eruption. This event produced significant lava flows that impacted nearby settlements and the local environment. The second eruption in 1798 lasted three months and was primarily effusive, resulting in extensive lava flows. Teide's most recent eruption occurred in 1909. This relatively small event was characterized by lava flows and minimal explosive activity. Historical records suggest that Teide's eruptions are relatively infrequent, 
with intervals ranging from decades to centuries. Most eruptions have been localized, posing limited threats beyond the immediate area. A mega-eruption is defined as a volcanic event of extraordinary magnitude, capable of producing widespread devastation and global climatic effects. Examples include the eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815 and the Yellowstone supervolcano's prehistoric eruptions. While Teide's volcanic system is capable of significant eruptions, the likelihood of a mega-eruption is considered low for few reasons. First and foremost, Teide's past eruptions have been moderate in scale, with no evidence of super-eruptive events in its geological record. The absence of mega-eruptions in the geological record suggests that while significant eruptions are possible, they are not characteristic of Teide's activity. Secondly, the Canary Islands' volcanic systems differ from those associated with supervolcanoes, which typically involve massive magma chambers and caldera-forming events. Finally, the recent seismic activity, while notable, does not exhibit the characteristics associated with large-scale eruptions, such as prolonged high-magnitude earthquakes or rapid ground deformation. Despite these conclusions, another study in 2009 pointed out that Teide will probably erupt violently in the future, and that its structure is similar to that of Vesuvius and Etna. Thus, one cannot simply rule out the possibility of a mega-eruption, although the magnitude of the risk posed by Teide to the public remains a source of debate. A mega-eruption at Mount Teide could have profound consequences on multiple fronts. The most immediate concern of any volcanic eruption is the threat it poses to human life. Tenerife, the largest and most populous island in the Canary Archipelago, is home to nearly a million residents and attracts millions of tourists annually. A major eruption could lead to widespread evacuations, disrupting daily life and displacing thousands of people. Pyroclastic flows, lava emissions, and falling ash could destroy homes, businesses, and infrastructure, including roads, airports, and ports, cutting off essential services and transportation routes. The ash fallout could be particularly devastating, as it has the potential to blanket large areas, damaging buildings, clogging water supplies, and making air travel impossible. Ash particles can also cause respiratory issues, posing health risks to vulnerable populations. Volcanic eruptions can drastically alter the local environment. A significant eruption could devastate Tenerife's unique ecosystems, many of which are protected as part of Teide National Park. The park's diverse flora and fauna, some of which are endemic to the Canary Islands, might be irreversibly damaged by lava flows, ash deposition, and toxic gases. Marine ecosystems surrounding the island could also suffer. Volcanic ash and chemicals released into the atmosphere and ocean could disrupt marine life, affecting fish populations that are crucial for local fisheries. Additionally, the eruption's heat and material deposition could cause localized boiling of seawater and destruction of coral reefs. Tourism is a cornerstone of Tenerife's economy, with Mount Teide itself being a major attraction. An eruption could cripple this industry for months or even years. Tourists would likely avoid the island, leading to massive revenue losses for local businesses, from hotels and restaurants to tour operators. The cessation of air travel due to ash clouds could further isolate the island and amplify economic challenges. Agriculture, another significant economic sector, would also face severe disruptions. Ashfall could contaminate soil and water supplies, rendering farmland unusable for extended periods. Large volcanic eruptions have the potential to influence global and regional climates. The release of sulfur dioxide and other gases into the atmosphere can lead to the formation of sulfate aerosols, which reflect sunlight and cause temporary global cooling. Historical eruptions, such as the 1815 Tambora eruption, have demonstrated this phenomenon, which can lead to colder temperatures, disrupted growing seasons, 
and widespread food insecurity. While Tay Day has not exhibited signs of producing eruptions on such a scale historically, even moderate eruptions can affect regional climates. Acid rain resulting from the combination of volcanic gases with atmospheric moisture could impact agriculture and water supplies across the Canary Islands and beyond. In the extreme case of a massive eruption or caldera collapse, there is a potential for triggering tsunamis, particularly if significant portions of the volcanic structure collapse into the ocean. Such an event could generate waves that threaten not only Tenerife, but also nearby islands and even coastal regions of Africa and Europe. While such scenarios are rare, they are not unprecedented and warrant careful monitoring. The potential impacts of an eruption at Mount Teide are vast and multifaceted, underscoring the importance of comprehensive monitoring, emergency preparedness, and public awareness. While the recent earthquake swarm does not confirm an imminent eruption, the event serves as a reminder of the unpredictable power of volcanoes and the necessity of vigilance in the face of natural hazards. By understanding the risks and planning accordingly, Tenerife can mitigate the potential consequences and enhance its resilience to future volcanic activity.